Review Nuggets, helping people choose better products faster. We're a team of three data scientists that worked on this product. First up, we have Timothy Wolotsko, who is a data scientist and developer at greensteam.com, who worked on the MLOps portion and the concept. Shang Su, who is a data scientist at Shopify, uh, who worked on the concept and the models. And myself, Yerzat Marat, I'm a project manager at Notions Research. I worked on the product and the story. So imagine uh, you want to pick a product on Amazon. Let's say in this case, we have Samsung Galaxy Buds. How do you go about choosing it? Well, as you can see, there are almost 900 positive reviews and 300 critical reviews, which is 1,200 uh, reviews total. And uh, you have to make a decision whether these uh, buds are for you or not. And uh, how long would it take you to go through all of the reviews? Well, let's see how long it takes uh, other people to go through reviews before they make a decision. So usually 43% of consumers spend more than 10 minutes reading reviews. Um, but the average consumer spends almost 15 minutes reading reviews made before making a decision. Interestingly enough, consumers aged 18 to 34 spend a, a third of the time more than an average uh, person reading reviews. As you can see, more than um, 50% 50, uh, 50 of people spend less than 10 minutes, and then the rest, uh, we have a lot of time wasted choosing uh, a product. So where do you fall into this category? And how can we help you? We did some uh, market research and there are approximately 200 uh, million unique monthly visitors to Amazon sites, uh, which uh, you know they have a 3% conversion rate to purchasers. And 77% of those read reviews for a product before making a purchase. However, there are two complications. On average, people spend 15 minutes reading reviews with 40% of people spending even more time on this. Also, if the potential buyers are keen on comparing multiple products, then they need to spend even more time browsing all the reviews for all the other products and making a comparison uh, for them. So one way we thought to make this process uh, less time consuming is to summarize the reviews for the products in a succinct and easy to digest format. Using the review tool, uh, people will be, making, will be able to make a decision much faster, saving 10 to 30% of the product research time, and more confidently knowing that their decision is informed by hundreds of other users and power, powerfully summarized by AI. Another uh, proof of market is the fact that there is a site called thereviewindex.com and it got 200,000 visitors over the last six months, um, which means that there is a market there. Uh, most of the, the visitors are from the United States. So what's our business strategy? Well, we'll serve the core functionality for free, but um, we'll use affiliate marketing for uh, revenue. Uh, at first, we're looking at Amazon Associates Program, uh, which pays up to 10% on some uh, categories of products. Uh, if uh, we do a profit concept on Amazon, we can choose other e-commerce platforms like Walmart and Flipkart. We also uh, can take a look at uh, placing product ads for more revenue generation, and we expect a monthly income of around 10 to 20K initially. Uh, what are our costs? Um, infrastructure, AWS comes up to like 20,000. Uh, salaries for front-end, back-end developers and SEO and uh, content marketing person come up to 290,000, which is uh, you know three, around 300,000 per year. What's the competition look like? Uh, there are a couple of websites that are similar to this, the reviewmeta.com, which focuses mainly on um, metadata for the reviews. They have been operational for four years now. They have a million plus visitors on average in the last six months, and but they don't have a summarizer. Uh, alternatively, there is the review index, uh, which has been operational since 2017. It gets 2,000 visit, 200,000 visitors on average. Um, they have a summarizer feature detection and spam detection. However, it takes a long time to load um, reviews. So what's our strategy? So our market vision is to improve the product research experience for customers through helping them understand key features, advantages, and disadvantages of products through machine learning generated summaries of product reviews to save them time. 
The goal for the minimum viable product is to reduce the time to read the reviews from uh, 15 minutes to um, less than to something less than that. And there are two key initiatives: the review summarizer and then uh, key features and red flags extraction. So now let's talk about the data for this product. Um, for testing purposes, we used Amazon review data. Uh, the data is uh, freely available on the internet. It's provided by University of California, San Diego, and, and uh, the latest reviews in 2018. So there are a few co core columns that we use, uh, reviewer ID, async, which is the Amazon product identifier, identifier and uh, vote, which indicates how popular the review is, and review text itself, and also the review timestamp. So the total file size is 36 gigs, but for demonstration purpose, we only selected uh, six products for our app. And now let's look at the architecture. So we host all the code on GitHub, and we use GNU Make to manage building Docker images, and we send them to AWS ECR. So ECR uh, stands for Elastic Container Registry, and it is sort of AWS version of Docker Hub for storing Docker images. Uh, we send the images there so that they are easily accessible from other AWS services. And when we set up the infrastructure using Terraform, um, and we use AWS EC2 uh, instances for physical machines, that run our Docker image, and uh, the machines are booted from Terraform makefile, and we use bash, bash script to install all the dependencies that are needed, including Docker itself. And finally, we use Flask uh, for setting up the web API for the model and the front end, which is using HTML. So currently, um, we don't use S3 for storing different versions of trend models for serving because we only have one single version of the model at this, at this stage. So let's look, look at our model technical solutions. Um, we use BERT-based sentence embedding to understand the contextual meaning of each of the reviews. And then we filter them for five-star reviews and then one-star reviews. Five-star reviews are supposed to serve as the highlights for the products, and a one-star serves as the red flags for the products. And after that, for each of the filtered reviews, uh, we try to cluster them using k-min cluster techniques, and we find a few clusters for each of the review sections, and uh, each of the cluster has a centroid. We find the closest review to the centroid and then surface them to the UI. Um, this is serving as a um, sort of evidence to back up the, the common themes that are being surfaced for each of the clusters. And this is a sample UI that we have. So on the top, we have the product selection itself and submit button. After you click on the button, you'll see positive reviews and negative reviews. So the positive reviews are in green, negatives are in red. Um, each, each line indicates a cluster. So these ones have three clusters. And each cluster, they will have multiple reviews. Now let's look at the demo. So this is the product itself. So the drop-down list has a few of the products that we mentioned earlier. And then once we sub submit, you'll see um, within each line or within each of the bracket, this is a common theme or aka our cluster that we mentioned before. And under each of the cluster, you'll see multiple sentences uh, that's wrapped by single quotes. And uh, the idea is that we should see a common theme among all of these, uh, all of these clusters. So now let's talk about some of the future work that we want to do. Uh, first of all, we want to summarize the topic. As you see earlier, um, the common themes are the topics right now. Uh, they are not, there's not a consensus uh, or 
there's not a single topic that can represent them. And we want to be able to summarize that and distil, distill that or, uh, for the users. And we also want to increase the number of available products in the product list. And uh, number three, we want to explore LDA plus BERT. Um, right now we're using K-means. K-means work fine to a certain extent. And we want to see um, if we combine LDA and BERT, uh, whether the topic modeling will be performing even better. And we want to accept, assess and uh, research some other e-commerce platforms for product fit. Uh, that is because Amazon uh, has some limitation to um, how this product can work with their review data. And we do want to see if there's other uh, market opportunities there. And finally, uh, some user provided some feedback that we might consider add a browser plugin uh, for ease of use. So here are GitHub link links. Uh, you can see the uh, source code there, and uh, the link to the permanent uh, to the online version of the app uh, will be available shortly.